Hey, salut à tous, c'est Sandwich. Et eh ben écoutez, on se retrouve là. Hein. Pour moi, ça fait quelques jours euh, que j'y ai pas retouché. Ah, on s'est arrêté à cette mission. Puis bah, on va la continuer. Hein. On va continuer ce, ce petit jeu. Qui, en fin de compte, j'espère, va un petit peu évoluer au, au fil du temps. Et qui vont nous donner une grosse mission. Allez, viens là, Bobby. C'est reparti. Vraiment une grosse mission, ouais, un fil rouge, c'est pas une super enquête. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Oh, y a du pop Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to be dead. Screwing all over the front gate. <laughs> are you blind? Ah si. Sixième ouest, seconde rue, euh, midi 23. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Mais je fais ce que je peux. 1247, Detective Phelps, requesting immediate backup. In pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Et je suis à fond, hein. <laughs> Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh la vache. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Ah bah on est à l'arrêt là. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets out of the car course. now. I'll call it in. Hands behind your head. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Mm-hmm. All right. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Uh, et, et ben voilà, ben là on se retrouve dans la même complexité, enfin dans la, la même interrogation que d'habitude. D'après le papier, ouais. And the ownership papers? From the same place! Bon, on a dû trouver le bon truc, ça, ça nous a donné une autre info. Automobile California. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Uh, uh. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. J'aurais tendance à le croire, on dirait un mec un peu de, de bonne famille, enfin, euh, qui a battu tripé, enfin, je sais pas. You expect us to believe you. Is that so much to ask? Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. 
vérité d'où tout mensonge Qu'est-ce que je... Enfin, c'est... Là, les indices, enfin... Bah, je dirais que c'est la vérité. Et il a fait le bill de sale, personnellement Bien sûr qu'il a fait. Il a gardé un fax simile pour ses records. Check avec lui. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Ah, two sur three. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his <laughs> possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. 2 sur 3, bah, j'aimerais bien savoir où je me suis planté. Ils vous disent pas où vous êtes planté, c'est ça qui est un peu dommage. Euh, J'ai pas trop le choix. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Je me téléporte pas directement. On va se faire une like petite balade. Oh. Well, I get it. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with your Christ alive! You're gonna kill someone! C'est dommage qu'il n'y ait pas un mode libre, hein, parce que bah, c'est Rockstar, enfin, on voit que la ville c'est du GTA. Quoi. Mais enfin, vu qu'on est policier, enfin, je pense qu'on peut pas voler de voiture, enfin, faire un massacre et autres. Dommage, ça aurait pu rajouter quelque chose de, <rire> de sympa. Coombs Automotive Company, 15h43. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Call it Very amusing, Mr. Cohn. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Seriously? That's a joke too, son. Mm. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I suis plutôt d'accord avec toi. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Ça coûte 50 dollars une radio. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Et Jean Archer. Ça va être notre prochaine cible. Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Euh, bah c'est tout, mec. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas, shoot. Bah lui, il a pas l'air de mentir. Enfin, ça a l'air d'être un, 
Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. What? La fille. Attendez. Ah, j'ai pas vu la question. Bah, y a pas de fille. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Bah, euh, c'est Jean déjà, oui. Non, mais c'est pour ça, enfin, j'étais resté sur Jean. <rire> mais c'est Jean, ok, ok. Euh, ça doit être vrai. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Bah, euh, j'ai aucune raison de douter, fin, là, sur le coup. So with the banks closed over the weekend, I might be able to stop payment. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Oula. Euh, là, par contre. <rire> Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Ah non, c'était peut-être pas la bonne. your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Ah, je me suis planté. J'ai je... toujours pas compris la, la petite musique euh, si elle indiquait qu'on a bon ou pas. <rire> Faudrait que je fasse gaffe la prochaine fois. Double check all the paperwork. Who's it made out to? Bah, euh, T'étais avec moi. Enfin, t'as tout vu, mec. Du coup, que je me souvienne comment ça marche, le lieu. Euh, bah, on y est. Attendez, qu'est-ce que c'est que c'est Non, c'est pas ça. <rire> Attendez, je me remets. Non, on est d'accord, ouais, ben bah, non, mais oui, j'y suis. quand même bien aller à la banque k to KGPL Request an ABB on Gene Archer Age approximately 25 on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto KGPL to 11K, Roger Attendez C'est vrai que le téléphone nous donne pas mal d'informations des fois Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? He's a waste in the police force. Messages for me, please. Like that to go into politics. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. Don't need this. Ah, attendez, on va aller interroger le. You know the way, you can drive. Voilà. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. 
do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? <laughs> You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Et encore, les garagistes, c'est pire. <rire> T'arrives pour une révision, bing, t'en as pour 3000 balles. <rire> pour le prix de la bagnole, en fait. Enfin, <rire> le truc qui a aucun sens. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Euh... Non. Si, si, je crois. Non, c'est pas ici. C'est à l'étage. Interview room. Ah si, je regardais au moins ce qu'ils me disent. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? God damn, I was a season from hell. On va trouver, on va trouver, vous inquiétez pas. Interview 2, voilà. Crummy bastard. What? James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Ils sont tous la même adresse. Sans aucun. We got a stake ad down on second later tonight. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Euh, je peux sortir du ce... voilà. Ah mais j'aurais pu retourner ce papier avant. Ah j'ai pas fait gaffe. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Euh, euh, alors là. Alors là, la réponse qu'il vient de faire, c'est pas une vérité ou doute ou un mensonge. Il, il me dit, eh ben, euh, je lui dis, t'emmène où la bagnole Il me dit, va te faire foutre. Vérité, doute ou mensonge <rire> Pas sans déconner. Euh, et, non. Là, il, bah, bah, intuition, i. Bon bah 3, et hop. You were taking the car to Coombs car yard. He gives you cash and the cars get new papers. Who the fuck is Coombs? What are you talking about? Give me a lawyer, I'm tired of talking. Oh, j'ai foiré. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. Voilà. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Non, mais j'ai aucune preuve. Hein. So that's why you both have the same address printed ah, on the voilà, pencil. Sur She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? You had a chance to cooperate, Velasco. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. 
You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. <rire> non, j'attends le, le zoom comme l'autre fois, c'était euh... <rire> assez bizarre. Ah, j'ai loupé, mais enfin, j'ai mis mensonge alors qu'il y avait un doute. Enfin... Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. <rire> C'est bizarre, il regardait aucun des deux personnages. Euh, bah, on va choper euh, la donzelle. C'est ma voiture, celle-ci. Oh, tu montes. Mais... C'est toi qu'on attend. Oh là 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 là. Yeah <rire> Reproduction de voiture. Ah mais c'est pas ça que je veux, moi je veux aller choper la fille euh, c'est peut-être là, il a pas dit à la West LAPD, we'll take it from here God damn it, everyone's against me Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay You look sweet How about giving a girl a break I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Uh, but no, no, it's qui est mort, du coup. Lying, Jean. You want to prove that, Buster? Try and prove that pink slip is not real. Message. Carte grise. Mais euh, du coup, Fala, si je mets la carte grise de Datcher et la carte grise de Belasco, ça avait marché pour l'autre. Je vais dire carte grise. Look, this is all just a big mistake. I don't want to talk anymore. Just let me go. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know... him. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Jean. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Uh... Mais je la crois pas, enfin. Mais euh, c'est doute ou mensonge, enfin, peut-être qu'elle dit la vérité, mais de toute façon, je veux pas la laisser partir, enfin, elle est complice. You're lying, you remember just fine. And how exactly do you know that?
je vous avoue que je suis... Je sais pas là. Are we finished talking? No, I'm ben tired non, of this. You decided to make this hard on yourself. Ah, la vache. Let's see how you handle the hard time. Ah, on a été mauvais là. <rire> He's good looking for a police. Euh, du coup... Mais c'est ça en fait, faut faire des trucs dans l'ordre pour récupérer des indices, pour... Euh... Mais du coup là je pensais pas avoir besoin de... Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good bread. <laughs> yeah, he but I draw the line at grand. You know, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Ouais, Qu'est-ce que je disais Oui, bah, je pensais qu'on n'avait pas besoin puisque l'autre avait clairement avoué qu'il qu le connaissait. Enfin, qu'il connaissait Jean. Donc, enfin, là, j'avais un témoin, enfin, pour toute information. Enfin, j'avais juste à dire, non, mais il a tout balancé, mec. Allez, c'est un peu ça qui est, qui est dommage. Enfin, y a pas, on peut pas. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Bon, après, j'ai peut-être fait le boulet. Euh... Bah, du coup, c'est comme elle nous disait, c'est des terrains vagues. Donc, du coup, ça nous aurait rien apporté. Ouais c'est dommage, il faudrait plus d'interactions qu'on puisse enfin nous-mêmes poser des questions. Enfin, que ce soit plus euh... enfin, qu'il y ait beaucoup plus de choix quoi. Marquis Printing Company, 16h31. Come on Cole, leave him alone. <rire> C'est ma façon de dire bonjour. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire pour vous, gentlemen Je suis un trafic détective de la Central Division. Qui est en charge ici Je suis Gordon Lightfall. Qu'est-ce que c'est Nous comprenons que votre compagnie imprime des titres de véhicules californiens. Oui, j'ai le contrat de gouvernement de printer des pink slips. Je l'ai fait pendant quelques années. Avez-vous eu des produits ou des équipements volés récemment Nous sommes en train de se battre contre des véhicules volés avec des papiers de papier légitimes. Pas récemment. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Bah, attendez, je peux pas lui parler. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightfall. Ah oui, bah d'accord, oui. Mr. Lightfall, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Je vais utiliser l'intuition, de hein. toute façon c'est des points gratuits. Doute. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. 
They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Ah. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Look for patterns, referring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Jim Smack. Close. No. Collection, collection. Certainly encourage repeat business, Light Vault. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Okay. Oh, uh, non, ça sort. Uh, non, bah, y a rien d'autre. Du coup, Marquis Printing Company, c'était quoi Ah, j'ai la mémoire euh... <rire> complètement atrophiée, j'ai l'impression. Euh, Marquis Printing. On va aller voir ça. Mais non, mais si. Oui, non, mais. I am stupid. Pour. Allez, j'irai voir Mr. Combe après. Combs, Combs, Combs. You can drive. <rire> Je sais pas trop comment le dire. Et on va se terminer l'enquête. Hein. Enfin, on va pas couper avant. We're gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Wow. Tel un petit poney, il a sauté sa petite caisse. <laughs> Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Pas mal de balles quand même. How long do you think you can hold out? Ah, 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 ah. Fire. Non, 
Ah lui c'est mon pote. Throw off the guns. Attendez je le vois pas moi. Attendez on va monter. Weapons on now. <rire> ah, on peut ramasser une arme. Bah, C'est plutôt cool ça. Par contre, il y en avait qui avait. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Ah Voilà. Gordon Lightbow. Marquis Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. C'est bon pour ces indices. C'est un menteur. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about Mark. Uh, you can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal, and I order them from Marquis. Uh. Euh, ouais, ben. Bah... Bon, ça peut pas être ça. I want a mouthpiece. The organization employs a very good one. Does a great job of keeping Mickey C out on the streets. Non, oh, j'ai fait. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. Ah j'ai fail mais euh, je savais pas vraiment quelle preuve amener enfin Bon bah écoutez On va retourner Garé long en plus. Can you drive to this one? Là j'ai complètement fail là sur le coup. What a mess. Ah, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute. Leads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed? 
It's always one of the two that brings him down. <rire> Et l'IA qui fait vraiment nerf. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Allez, filme-moi le truc d'épreuve. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Bah, les tickets. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy yes. and fraud. Hands behind your back. 4 sur 4, ça rattrape le 0 sur 1. The LAPD <laughs> Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. <rire> Et du coup, euh, Mister euh, Indice trouvé 15 sur 18, question correcte, 11 sur 17. Mais écoutez, c'est pas trop mal. Hein. C'est, euh, Ça fait plus d'une sur deux. <rire> c'est déjà bien. Euh, eh ben écoutez, on va, on va, on va, on va, ben on va couper, non, on va laisser la suite, comme ça je vous mets à l'eau à la bouche pour le suivant, hein, avec la petite intro, pour la prochaine enquête. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took 10 years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. <laughs> I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you, back in with the brain. 
tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in in Central. Ça, c'est dit. Eh bien, écoutez, on va se quitter là, hein, puis on se retrouve pour la suite. Allez, tchuss